Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. Um, I am Paige, and um, today we are making a Christmas present. So, um, I probably won't be posting this video until after the holidays, um, because I don't want whoever's present this is to be spoiled. Um, I won't say their name or anything in case they're watching, but I'm sure, I'm sure they'd be able to figure it out. So therefore, this will probably be posted after the holidays. However, this is going to be a Christmas present. So, um, yeah. The plan for this craft is to be making uh, string art. Um, there are many different ways that you can make string art, um, but it's very simple. Um, this is going to be the pattern. Ooh, there we go. Um, it's just going to be a paw print. And so we're going to be making that later or adding that element later. But this is going to be, we're going to have the string art on the top in the shape of a paw print. And then I'm going to attach a hook to the bottom so whoever's uh, the owner of said present um, will be able to hang like, you know, leashes, collars, different kind of pet items on this. And it will be able to be mounted on their wall. So first, um, we're going to stain it. And where is my wood stain? Here it is. Um, I like to give it a nice, good shake. This is just Minwax wood finish. Um, it is in dark walnut, this stain. Um, the instructions and everything are on the container, but pretty much we're gonna first sand down these edges um, from when I had the people at the store cut this uh, one by eight. Yeah, I cut, had them cut down a one by eight to size, six inches long. Um, and, or well, let's see, one by eight. The eight's this way, this is six inches. Um, and we're gonna be sanding down the edges to give it a nice clean edge so we don't have all these little like frillies. Um, and then we're gonna start the staining process, which is really just brushing it on, um, letting it sit for a little bit, and then wiping off the extra. So we're gonna go ahead and breeze on through that. So here is my finished board. I moved the cups out of the way so it's sitting down on a flat surface. Um, and I have properly, like it's all finished being stained and I sealed it. You can, um, let's see, according to the instructions on the stain, um, you can seal it with some like, what, fast drying polyurethane. Um, clear sealant according to this. Um, I actually just sealed it with some Mod Podge. Uh, just like it's what you, you all know what Mod Podge is. It's just like a glue and water mixture. Um, and yeah, I just brushed that on lightly. Um, and it's all dry now. Let's see what happened to, there they are. And my next step is gonna be the nails. Um, for string art, and for those of you who don't know anything about string art, um, you pound nails into a specific shape, specific, yeah, specific. <laughs> you pound nails into a specific shape that you want, um, and then you'll remove the paper and you will string in between to create the picture. 
Um, so mine, like I said, is going to be this paw print. So here's, I've got the paw print taped down in place so it doesn't scooch around while I'm nailing things down. Um, and then I have left some space for where I plan on putting my hooks. So, like I said, I just, I have some wire nails. Ugh, they're kind of just like picture hanging nails, but they are small, if you can see it. But that's kind of the point. They are small, skinny, and white. Or no, these aren't white. They're just silver. Um, and they will, yeah, they won't take up a huge amount of space on my wood. I don't want them to be like really thick nails. I guess if you're doing like a giant picture or, you know, if you want to add some depth to it, you can add different size nails. But I'm staying pretty basic here. So I just have some of these uh, wire nails and I planned on pounding them in to the shape and then I'll rip it off. Pretty easy. step. Well first, here's what it looks like. I like to make um, or to put my nails in like a little close together. It helps kind of make the picture more clear. Um, one downside to that is that it does um, like leave less space for your fingers. Um, it makes things a little bit tight. But I think it's worth it. String isn't very thick. Um, and then I did go through, I had a pair of tweezers because after I peeled the picture off there were still some little like paper frillies caught in between the nails. So I just took some tweezers to them um, to peel those pieces out. So next I have several, let's see, what are these called? What is the official name? Um, so it's not yarn. Of course, this one doesn't tell me. It gives me the number. But anyway, when I went to Walmart, I found uh, this calls them, this package calls it friendship thread. When I bought it from a different store in this version, it I don't think it said friendship thread. Um and I can't figure out what, it doesn't say specifically what it's called on here. Um, but pretty much it's like thin, it's not yarn and it's not thread. <laughs> um, this is what it looks like. And uh, yeah, I guess if you find stuff that says friendship thread, by all means go for it. Um, that's what I bought and um, this comes, this pack is kind of cool. It's got 17 different colors in here. Ugh. There's black and white and purples and just all sorts of pretty colors. And um, yeah, so that's what you're gonna be using to make your string art. I like to use um, a couple of colors. I think it looks pretty. I think it has more dimension to it. I might do some some blues. Oof. So there's my blue colors. Um, and I'm going to start with the darker one just for shits and gigs. So you're going to find Take your string. This can be kind of tricky because it's just it's just so thin. And make a starting point. I'm gonna double knot mine. So it's not gonna go anywhere. 
and like I said there are several different ways to make string art. Um, you could do it in a pattern kind of like uh, do directly across and then kind of like rotate with it. Um, I have seen other ones where like in the center like if you do I think the most popular version I see is for a state and you put like a little heart um, wherever you live or your favorite place and a lot of people string out from the heart um, to create the state around it and then the heart ends up either being empty or you could use a different color. Like I said, the possibilities are endless. Um, I plan on, I want my yarn to stay kind of low if I'm doing different colors. I plan on just kind of going crazy with it. Um, so I'm gonna pick a, pick a nail I loop around once and then ooh, make sure it actually loops around once and then I'm gonna go to another light nail. Loop around, another nail, loop around, another nail, and can pretty much, ooh, you can just go in whatever order you would like. Like I said, um, because my nails are so close together, it can make it a little bit tricky. But I like the appearance overall. Of making the nails just a little bit tighter. So, as you're, if you choose to go about this randomly, um, the one thing I would suggest is to make sure when you think you're done that you have hit every single nail at least once. Um, if you choose to do one color, um, you know, go through it multiple times, continue to just go randomly. Um, I think I'm going to loop around to hit every single nail once and then I'm gonna switch to my next color. And uh, we're gonna do a couple colors and see how, how it looks. And pretty much, you know, I have a paw, so I'm gonna do this area, and then each one of the little toe beans is gonna be uh, something separate. So yeah, pretty much just gonna keep going with this style. the finished well mostly finished product I guess it's finished string wise I put three different layers of string on here um, different shades of blue after each layer I kind of pushed it down and made room for the next layer uh, and so next I'm gonna add the hooks um, what I purchased were they call them cup hooks um, and I picked them purely because I wanted a big hook for like leashes and collars and different things. Um, I originally was looking for like a big old, like, like a double hook, like a big one that you could put coats on or something. I wanted heavy, something that was heavy duty. Um, but I couldn't find anything at the store I went to, so... We're going to be using these cup hooks. Um, and the picture on the back shows uh, you can just push them in. If it was a soft surface, um, you could do this uh, probably pretty easily. But I want to make sure that these screws go in straight and there's not a bunch of splitting or anything of my wood. I mean, I've put too much time and effort into it um, to not make sure that uh, the hook doesn't ruin everything. So I'm going to be drilling a small pilot hole um, onto the wood. I'm going to add two different hooks um, so they've got extra space for extra things. 
So I'm gonna put two hooks and I'm gonna drill just a small hole in it so when I go to twist this hook in, it doesn't give me so much resistance and hopefully it will go in nice and beautifully. All right, well here it is with the hooks attached to the front. I ran out of battery so you guys couldn't get to see the process, but it was exactly what I said, that I just drilled in pilot holes and then I was able to screw those hooks in. And I also added a sawtooth hanger for the back. So, it's a little crooked, but there we go. So it can hang it on the wall. So yeah, like I said, string art is pretty versatile and not too terribly difficult. Um, this was just one example of what you could do with it. Um, pretty easy pattern and uh, yeah, it wasn't too difficult adding the screws and the sawtooth hanger to the back so now it hangs all nice on the wall and they can hang some like different things, different pet accessories up on the hooks. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment what you think, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, feel free also to check out my Instagram with the same name, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I always post photos of the crafts we make on here and some additional stuff if you want to check it out. And I will see you all for the next video.